scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. A man's got to do. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. It's not wrong. Hey, everybody. Welcome to an all new Trenny and C. He's Trenny, I'm C, and we have a very fun video tonight. We have what's the best, best celebrity, celebrity whiskey. whiskey. And what we Woo. have today is we have five celebrity offerings. This might be like a round one kind of thing because there are other... There are other celebrity whiskeys. Um, There's also other just celebrity alcohols. Yeah. For so sure. There's probably a vodka section. Oh, know. yeah, definitely. Yeah. But as far as whiskey goes, we have five of the uh, more well-known uh, celebrity whiskeys here today. So what we're going to do is we're each going to taste all five yep. and then put them in order of best to worst mm -hmm. uh, celebrity whiskey. We're not going to do it blind. We could do it blind, but we're not because... We can pretty easily tell the difference between an Irish whiskey and a uh, Canadian whiskey. Yeah. And a bourbon and so on and so forth. So uh, we're just going to kind of, I think, jump right into it. I guess we could say whose whiskeys each of them are. Okay, so we have the Duke, mm -hmm. who is John Wayne's whiskey. And if you turn this around and look inside the bottle, you probably can't see it, but it says, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. It's not wrong. Okay. Then um, we've got... And this is actually made by John Wayne's son. Yes. And according to him, it's per the exact specifications <laughs> of what John Wayne said was his favorite bourbon. Yeah, but they made it after he died. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they're guessing what his favorite flavor profile Carry was. On. Yeah. Okay, then we got um, Wayne Gretzky, 99. This is Red Cask mm -hmm. uh, Premium. What is the percentage on here? I think it's just 40 yeah, that's 40% alcohol. Uh, some credit for Wayne Gretzky is that like he actually does like make this whiskey himself. Yeah, he's, he's heavily involved, and he's also... Yeah, he's alive, comparatively, so it's, yeah, that's like, a good start. helps. That's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got the... Um, the what's, I was going to say the Drake. The Drake. Well, he probably likes that. Yeah. This is Virginia Black by Drake. Yeah. Also a guy that... R&B star. R&B hippity hop star. Yeah. Uh, I believe he had something to do with actually creating this whiskey. But it's it, it's hard to say, really. It is sourced from MGP. Yes. Uh, Midwest Grain Producers. So maybe he tasted some whiskey and they told him which one was good or something. But yeah, <laughs> he just maybe had something to do with it. Yeah, yeah. Again, he's alive. That's a good start. That's a good start. The cool bottle, though. Like for bottle props, sure. it looks like a clone bottle and... Uh, that some, comes in a cool case. Some trickery. Yeah, painted not... the bottom of the bottle black for darkness. Yeah. There yeah. you go. You introduced the other few. Uh, this is Conor McGregor's whiskey, proper 12, proper number 12 Irish <laughs> whiskey. Um, Conor McGregor, again, in, in the news for punching someone in the face who didn't like his whiskey. Right. So, well, we <laughs> love it. <laughs> we might be the next containers, yeah. contenders to get punched uh, in the face because... It's proper garbage as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Uh, <laughs> bias, pre-drinking, pre but yeah. yeah. Um, and then you have Long Branch, which is Matthew McConaughey's whiskey. But again, it's really Wild Turkey's whiskey. It's and Wild he Turkey's whiskey. He picked kind of barrels. Turkey, yeah. Picked his favorite barrel. But yeah. So anyway. But he was heavily involved in the whole process. And his yeah. name's on the bottle. He spent like at least a weekend there and <laughs> <laughs> really figured it out. So, we have celebrity and celebrity endorsed whiskeys today, and uh, what we'll do is let's pour them up. You can drink them and tell people which one's the best and which one's the worst. So, you pour them up and I'll line them up. Actually, I'll pour these and make the same. I'll probably just stay right where they are. See, I'm just going to I'm just going to have things pour you in. Try to make them equal. Yeah, for, for a little bit. A little bit of proper 12 Irish. Do they all have corks? Uh, well, this cologne bottle here has a, has a uh, odd, unnecessary thing, but okay. Okay, right, so uh, okay, I think yeah. I guess I should taste them in the order that we're doing it, even though technically we should probably drink them in like less percentage to higher. But well, are any of them like that's probably 45. Matthew McConaughey's is 43 percent. This is probably 45 or something, 44. Okay, random. so and this one is 40. Yeah, uh, Drake's this is also 40, and Drake's is 40. 
So at least three or forty, and then the end. Forty-four. The book ends. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Just, well, know. I'm gonna start with the uh, the John Wayne. Jump all around. Do whatever you want. There's no right or wrong here. Ooh. These are really not comparable. Like you would never compare bourbons to Canadians to Irish no. whiskeys like normally. But you know, it's funny because we reviewed this bottle a long time ago. Like two years ago. And we didn't really, I mean, it looks like it's gone down, but I don't recall drinking that much. No. <laughs> I guess we did. But we, on first smell, yeah. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. Okay. It, it's better than I remember on the smell. I'm going to go through smells first. The thing we really didn't like about the Duke whiskey was all of... Just the branding. The marketing mumbo jumbo yeah. branding and it seemed like, uh, you know, a pretty penny was going to be made off of a, a dead man's name. Well, and it was like $80 for the bottle. It was very overpriced, so yeah, okay. Okay, I'm liking that that uh, John Wayne there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> From John Wayne to Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Gretzky. John Gretzky. Nope. Wayne, John, whatever. Um, so this... Again, it's kind of surprising me too because I, at the time when we first opened this bottle, mm -hmm. we weren't super into Canadian whiskeys. Right. We were kind of, yeah, you know, getting into it. And I'm liking the nose on this. Good. A little bit spicy, a little bit Good. sweet. Okay, huh? moving on. Drake's whiskey. Ooh, Drake's. It's got a little bit of a peppery hangover kind of a smell to it. The one note I recall from Drake's whiskey was celery salt. Celery salt. Yeah, there's something definitely different there, and it's got to mm. be something like that. It's a spice for sure. Okay, moving on to proper 12. Yes. Getting into well, the Irish. How are they transitioning from one to They're one Actually, this is a pretty good order, because it's bourbon, uh, the Canadian, then this weird kind of... American, now, which is almost a bourbon. <laughs> and now the uh, Irish, like, they're all smelling that actually pretty good. The Irish... You know, I just noticed about this bottle. What's that? It's called Virginia Black. Yeah. And it specifically says on the back, not from Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> it's not from Virginia. Just if anyone's wondering. If you're wondering. I think the smell on the the proper 12 is better than I also remember as well, okay. but it's a little bit weak. Okay. Moving on to the McConaughey. Yep. <laughs> the Long Branch, if you will. The Long Branch. Okay. This is a little bit... A little, a little bit more honey sweetness than this one. This is a little bit more... Oh, <laughs> jolly, watermelon Jolly Rancher. Oh, really? Yeah, comparatively. So it might have a little bit, well, a little more rye content or yeah. something. It's funny, I feel like I'm liking this one the best right oh, now. that's good. Just the nose, I haven't tasted it. But, okay. I'm going to taste them all and then do a once-through lineup yeah. and yeah. try to go quick here. Okay. You don't have all night. People want to know what the best celebrity whiskey is. They're standing in line at the liquor store. I like this. This honestly actually kind of reminds me a little bit of like a a Buffalo Tracy. Oh, okay. In a way. I remember the, the, seeing that people thought, thought that it was from um, Wild Turkey, but maybe it's not. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we really researched that or not. Okay. That was the rumor mill. That's good. I'm going to put that at the front of the line. I don't know how far the camera can see, so let's go here. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really soft. Maple syrup. It's quite pleasant. Um, Need some water? my red bottle. Water, water bottle. <laughs> I'm actually going to pull these back a bit just so we can put these in front. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Okay, so you've had the Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Yep. And it is definitely behind the John Wayne as oh, far as okay. I'm concerned. So you're on to Drake's. Okay, on to the Drake's Virginia Black here. American whiskey. Not from Virginia. It's quite sweet. I remember it being mm. sweet, but drinkable. A little bit. Like there's a pretty big oak on there. Oh, okay. So, oh, in, okay. In the sense that it's not been aged. Like um, a young oak youth, versus oh, a... Oh, youthful yeah. oak. Okay, young oak, yeah. Okay, I'm moving on. Sure. Moving on to water. Conor McGregor's Conor proper McGregor. 12 punch in the face. The nose is somewhat pleasant. It's got that nice Irish thing going on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's had a couple of weeks to mellow in the bottle. 
Most of these other ones have been open for a long time. This one's only it's, been open for about a month. Yeah, it's vanilla y and has that cereal grain kind of thing, but it also has like a strong kind of alcoholic. Like, mm. uh, the alcohol quality seems like less. The rubbing than, alcohol. Kind yeah, of like my tongue went dry. And something, oh, okay, you know that? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Matthew McConaughey. Mm. Yeah, the nose is pretty good. Okay. It's so tempting just to go, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> now, let's see here. I'm going to. Oh. Are these not placed in any particular order? No, not yet, but I, I'm close. All you really did was move the John Wayne one forward. Hmm. He's you know what? Tasty. I'm going to go, and this is maybe because mm -hmm. I just like it now, but I think I have my order in my head, and I'm going to put it there. We got the John Wayne first. Okay. This one second. Wait, why don't we just move the bottles into line? Okay. Okay, so we'll go... <laughs> We'll go, this is now second. Yeah. And I'll move this along with it. And then uh, Canadian Whiskey third. Okay, Gretzky is now going to third place. And I'm going to put McGregor at the back there. Oh, 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 okay. Virginia Black in fourth. And Conor McGregor's Whiskey in fifth place. Not just because he's an asshole, but because it actually tastes terrible. I, I, it was the rubbing alcohol finish. Mm, yeah, the finish yes, ruins it for yes. me. The nose is pleasant. Slightly In fact, I'd say the nose is probably better than, you know, maybe these two. Okay. But you but gotta drink the stuff. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna just go back between this one and Wayne Gretzky. Pull these back a little bit just to make sure people can see. There you go. Sorry, yep. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep, yep, yep. And then... Wayne Gretzky is really soft and sweet, but there's nothing offensive about it. Mm. So I think this is the order. I'm going to now quickly do a quick test between these two, make sure I'm right. The people are and then we're going waited, bated breath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was the right decision made? I think I'm right. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so two bourbons. Then the Canadian whiskey, American, and the Irish whiskey in last place. Yeah. Okay. And the thing was that killed this one is the nose for me. I mean, the, the aftertaste. For yeah, me. yeah. The nose made it better. Hmm. Well, mm. good. That was fun. Now you have all my tasty notes. Well, that was a video. <laughs> well, are yeah, you going to do it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. I'm up next. It. Okay, we are back for round two, which is uh, the C round of uh, what's the best celebrity whiskey. So you... we've got it all lined up the way that we did for me, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see where you stand. Okay, I'm going to uh, start at this end. Sure. Because this is closer to me. Okay, Matthew McConaughey's Long Branch. I like the nose on this one, and I remember, I remember liking it when we first tried it, actually. Yeah. But it does have that uh, mesquite kind of, um, that's the one kind of like first noticeable note to me outside of just the fact that it's a nice kind of brown sugar bourbon smell. But I'm just going to, uh, are you, did you nose them all first? I nosed them okay. all first, yeah. Anyway, I like and, it. It's got a sweetness to it. kind of figured out where my lineup was. Yeah, okay. Um, Conor McGregor, nosing the proper 12. It does have that signature... Irish whiskey nose to yeah, it. which is pleasant. Which is the nice grains. It is soft and sweet. Uh, it's The nose is pleasant. I think we said that about it when we unboxed it. Yeah. Okay, Virginia Black almost has a uh, odd kind of uh, must thing to it, but it's like sweet also... With a little bit of kind of a mild spice, but there, there's, I don't know, there's a, a, I think it is like maybe a molasses-y kind of I mean, You did say sweetness. celery salt, right? Was that in the Yeah, taste? but I'm not getting it right now. Hmm. It might be on the taste, but I do remember distinctly that celery <laughs> salt thing, but maybe not necessarily on the nose. Or maybe I'll catch it later. Okay, Gretzky. So this, this the, the one note that I remember from this one that 
instantly come back to me as candle wax. Yeah, yeah, like a, like a waxy crayon kind of. Sweet candle thing. wax. But, yeah. And the red wine cask finish is like, is noticeable there. But yeah, I like that kind of like, it is nice and sweet for sure. And I do like my whiskey sweeter, so that's, I think that's kind of maybe where we differ a you, little bit. You can, but you can come to expect it with a Canadian whiskey. They're always kind of sweet. Okay, now what you said about this one is true. It's like, I remember people saying that this was a wild turkey, but I agree that it's more, I'm getting more of like the cherry, maybe some marzipan kind of thing, but not the Vicks that you'd no. get from like a Buffalo Trace, but the cherry a bit and like a... I got Jolly Ranchers out of it. I can see that in there actually as I stuff my big schnoz in there and get a little more. I can, I can, I can feel you on that one. Yeah. All right. So now that you've just nosed them, do you yeah. have a sense of where you want to go with this a bit? As far as what? Like, like where do I you have a line up in your head already? No, I actually didn't mind the nose on any of them. Yeah, okay. So I'm kind of like... That's kind of how I felt. I still feel pretty neutral right now. I think if you watch back at my videos, it's like, oh, this is good too. Oh, they're all good. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, whiskey's good. <laughs> I like whiskey. Mmm. This one almost has like Matthew McConaughey's almost has something like um minty about it. Mm. Which is like, yeah. like not like hardcore, but like it has that kind of like in the way that it has like that a cooling Yeah. Cool mint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Spearmint kind like of menthol mint. cigarettes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um I like this. It, it it is definitely a wild turkey product. You can taste the wild turkey in it for sure. Uh, nice sweetness to it. It's got good balance. I I still like this, and I liked it before. Yeah. And yeah. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's solidly good. Okay. Going from good to Conor McGregor. Let's see how that translates. Yeah. Okay. The first thing about his after tasting one with like that cool mint and the like kind of, there's a little bit, there's a lot going on here. Yeah. There's much, much less going on. Right. Uh, with Conor McGregor's, it's like, it's pretty watery if you taste it after something that's kind of like bigger. Yeah. And it's not like this is way higher in percentage. It's 3% higher, yeah. you know, so it shouldn't really kind of like blow it out of the water. Yeah. That one. I mean, it's Irish complex. Like an Irish whiskey is known for kind of being, Somewhat one dimensional. Yeah. But you want to know that it's there. I mean, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I mean, like, if you were to compare this to like regular Jameson's, yeah. Regular Jameson's are way better. Oh, yeah. Easy. Yeah. The order right now is clear. <laughs> Did you find that it's like a really drying really quick on that one for me? Like, on the finish, it was like I remember, an alcohol kind of. I remember. That um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol thing more from the unboxing than I'm tasting right now. Okay. But I'm kind of rushing it too, so. Yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to think of tasting notes at the same time. <laughs> it's like, what is that? Whoa. I just got that blast of celery salt. Yeah. Just Probably now. After, after tasting and sniffing some others. Just now I got the big waft of celery salt off Virginia yeah, Black. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't really find it to be offensive that way. No, either. it's not a bad thing. Like, I remember when we first unboxed it being like, I could drink this whole bottle right now. I'm probably not going to drink because it's like, mm. it just seems so, not watered down, but like easily drinkable. It's refreshing almost. Sweet is kind of the big tasting note here, really. Yeah. I mean, um, it's like, it's kind of designed almost like for Drake's fans that don't know anything about whiskey. Like, just yeah. make it palatable for everyone. For all of his fans that aren't legal drinking age yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, kind of creamy though, and like, um, yeah, it has that that celery salt kind of thing going on. Yeah. But it's sweet. It's kind of creamy. I like the viscosity of it. The mouth feels decent. So, yeah. um, yeah, that's definitely in second and place. And props for packaging. Props for the. Uh, I'm gonna make this. The, I'm gonna start a, an order right now. Yeah. This being the the, the top. Yeah. Probably going in reverse order, but whatever. Okay. 
So yeah, um, Drake's whiskey, uh, pleasant. Yeah. Better than proper twelve. Much better than, than McGregor's. Okay. I challenged Drake and McGregor to a fight. Oh yeah. To fight each other? Or yeah. To fight you? Well, to them. <laughs> I, I'll watch. You challenge them <laughs> to a fight. Yeah. Okay. Gretzky's birthday candle whiskey. Here we go. Mm. Okay. 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 <laughs> Not loving it today. Okay. Not loving it today. Um, I'm getting a lot of... This is the one that's drying my tongue out, to be honest with you. Really? Interesting. I'm getting a lot of chalky, pastel-y, kind of waxy... Yeah. And I found it just really like soft and sweet. Not a hell of a lot going on necessarily. Mm. I'm finding the opposite. I'm finding like there's a lot going on, mm. but I'm just not necessarily liking what's going on. Interesting. Mm. However, at least there's something going on. <laughs> it's barely <laughs> nothing going on. Let's keep leapfrogging for now. Yeah. You go away. But it's that I'm not I'm not enjoying the Gretzky as much as Virginia Black and yeah. Definitely not as much as uh, Long Grass. But slightly more than this one. A lot more than that one, yeah. Yeah. Okay, John Wayne's Whiskey. I want to do the water. Oh, yeah. Lubricate. <laughs> Lubrication <laughs> is key when drinking <laughs> whiskey. I don't know if that's the reason you get water in your mouth, no, but okay. No. <laughs> For lubrication? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm trying to think of what bourbon this one reminds me of, but it's not really coming to mind. It kind of reminded me of that ancient age, honestly, a little bit. Oh, okay. I was gonna say... And the oats one, how that too? I was gonna say a little bit like Blanton's even, but... Oh, okay. But not as good. <laughs> yeah, it oh. made me think of the, uh, the Buffalo Trace oats. Yeah. A bit. Hmm. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's a great thing. Okay. okay, first. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I am with you as far as... Here's the thing. These guys are all coming down. Yeah. And right now, I need to do the showdown, just like yeah. you did. These are clearly... They're one contenders, yeah. They're one and two. This is like, it's like the lead and then the, like the rest of the pack is back here. Like we don't need to- Further back, yeah. We don't need to taste these anymore. Yeah, they're like at least back that mm. far. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna give one last little taste to each of them. All right. Excuse me, fellas. All right. McConaughey versus- The Duke. Whatever his name was. Wayne. Okay, there's that uh, menthol mesquite kind of thing going on there. Interesting. I like it though. Interesting tasting notes for sure. And then, I just got that Jolly Rancher thing too. Mm -hmm. On the nose, just now. Maybe it's because I tasted, no. Yeah, I tasted and smelled in a different order than you did too. Yeah, here's the thing. Whoa. The Duke is better. I think it is better. Which one are we drinking right now? Oh, that's that. Yeah, that's that. Okay. So, this is my final order. Yeah. Duke, Very number close. one. Just like you. Yeah. Uh, Matthew McConaughey, number two. Yeah. Just like you. I think you had Gretzky third. I did. And then you had, so the only thing we've really done is reverse the order here. Yeah. Conor McGregor maintains last place. Piece of shit. <laughs> just like, just like his father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like the apple never fall, falls too far from the tree. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, hey, that was fun. That was fun. The best celebrity whiskey is the Duke. Whoa. <laughs> now, what's that say about their uh, movie careers? In um, order. What's, what's, or I guess these guys don't have movie careers. Well, you know, these two. Their careers in general. <laughs> I guess McConaughey movies have been pretty good lately. Yeah. Yeah. 
The Duke, hey. I can't say I've ever watched one. Neither have I. Yeah. Anyway, anyway man's got to do what he's got to do, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let me know the quotes. So thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to do a round two one day when we get another set. of. Uh, we got to get some Hague Club, which is uh, oh, yeah, the Beckham. Beckham. Yeah. we got to get Metallica's whiskey. Bob Dylan has a whiskey. Does he? Yeah. Heaven's yeah. Door whiskey from Bob Dylan. Um, <laughs> it's made by MGP, too, so it's uh, not too bad. Yeah. Um, so anyway... Yeah, we'll do it. We'll we'll do it again with uh, a few more celebrity whiskeys, and then we'll we'll mash up the finalists and make a a, a truly what's the best uh, celebrity All whiskey. All right, yeah. All right, thanks for joining us. Cheersies, and <laughs> I guess I'll have yeah, the yeah, McConaughey yeah. there. Cheers. Penny and C, drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish Scotch. Bourbon and rye If they like a bottle They'll tell you why Subscribe on YouTube